Hi and welcome to Unity Escape Room tutorial with uh, Oculus Quest. Let's start by opening the Unity Hub and once the Unity Hub opens up on the left you can click on learn and scroll down to find an entry called VR Beginner the Escape Room. Click on that and it might ask you to install Unity 2020.1 click to install unity and make sure that the android build support is checked click install this would install unity in your unity 2020 in your machine wait for it to finish and then once it's finished do the same steps and this time it will open the project first time opening the project might take a couple of minutes so in my case it took me about 10 minutes and it's a fairly decent spec machine Once uh, the project is opened up, let's take a look at the pre prefabricated scenes that comes with the project. For that, let's go into the VR beginner folder from there through the scenes and inside the final folder, you have an escape room scene. So this is a prefabricated escape room and you can explore it using the scenes window. There are lots of components in this scene which you can see on the left in the hierarchy. Most of these objects are interactable as well, which you would see in a second. So now let's go to the build settings of the scene. So currently, as you can see, it's built for PC. Let's change it for Android. So once you click on Android, you can, you can see that my Oculus Quest is connected and recognized and uh, so let's switch platform to android so that our project would uh, run with an oculus quest this also will take a couple of minutes Once the platform switch is completed, we can go to the player settings on the bottom left. And um, in here, you can change the company name to the team name or and your product name to be the uh, escape room name if you have one. And, and you can come down and check the um, other settings and make sure that in the graphics API, there's only one entry and it's Vulkan and um yeah in this case i don't have to check enable virtual reality if you're using any other versions of unity you might have to check it and now let's go to the xr plugin management and make sure that oculus is checked if oculus is not there you might have to add it by clicking the plus button And finally, let's change the texture compression to ASTC. And now when we press build and run, it will create an application and deploy it to the connected Oculus Quest. Now let's take a look at Oculus Quest controllers. The controllers would look like this, the left and the right controller. And this is a snippet from the tutorial itself. When you interact with the objects, say you use a grip button to pick up an object. You would be using a trigger button like this to um, move a distant object closer. And you'd be using joysticks like this to turn up or down dials. 
now let's move on to playing with the scene let's first make sure that the oculus application is running behind and it's connected with the rift this is how the headset would talk to the unity application um, i'm going to click play in here and put on i'll put on the headset now and this you, you can see the view from inside the hmd on the right so this is inside the prefabricated escape room and once i take the controllers my hands will become visible in the scene so when i press a button the fingers go inside and out corresponding to the buttons i press so there is no teleportation in the scene but you can interact with the objects that are present in the scene you can press the grip button to grab an object and place it by releasing it we can open and close drawers and there is no teleportation uh, implemented in this scene now that we have had a look at the scene let's go back to the unity editor and start building our scene from a prototype scene so below the escape room scene you have the prototype scene let's open up open it up and <coughs> now i'll just play it so that we'll get to know what is in it it is quite a simple scene with a few objects that are interactable and I'm just picking up the controllers here in the prototype scene you have uh, teleportation so you can basically move from one point to the other You can pick up objects and move them around. In here, let's take the fuse and put it in the fuse box and turn the fuse box on. So you can see the sparks fly out once we've made the connection um, let's go back into the unity editor and um, start building our own scene by using the prototype scene as a base so you could start by editing this particular scene or according to the uh, tutorial the right way to do would be to go up to the um, VR beginner and create a new prototype scene. Click on the create new and then you can save the scene by giving it a new name. And so this is the blank scene that we can start with. Let's first start by adding teleportation and we have some prefabs to help us with it. So go to assets, we are beginner and prefabs and inside the tutorial you can find teleportation base. Drag and drop it inside the scene. So you can inspect the properties on the right and then I've just placed it into the scene. And this is a base for the teleportation. We actually need to give it the ability to function as a teleportation point for that uh, what we would need to do is uh, we would need to add a component and add uh, a script that would enable the functionality so for that we'll click on add component and let's type in teleportation um, anchor and once you click on teleportation anchor um, it can define the functions that when you 
uh, hover into the teleportation base and when you hover out of the teleportation base so when you hover into the teleportation base you would need some kind of feedback that is it's lighting up so for that we uh, add teleportation base and add this function called teleportation teleport teleporter anim dot start high so this would make that animation come up and we would see the opposite we would do the opposite of this to the exit so if you come down on the on last hover exit that is when you have finished your teleportation you would do uh, the exact same so you click on plus and then you click and drag the teleporter base and you click on stop highlight and let's save it and test the scene out so as you can see here there is teleportation base and uh, the other base is uh, hidden underneath it's only visible like this so let's go into that space yeah the teleportation works so and uh, let's go back into the editor and arrange the teleportation base near to the other table so let's move the, the base closer to the other table and we can place an object on this table and we can interact with the object now that it's next to it, let's uh, open up the assets via beginner prefabs tutorial and inside objects. There are a couple of objects that uh, that comes with the tutorial. I'll just use this bubble gun, and you can I'll place the bubble gun in on the table, and that's if you press F on any object, it will focus the scene on that object and that's how I zoomed straight in to the object um, so now that the the gun is in scene let's go to the inspector and come down and let's add an XR grab interactable this script will enable it to be grabbed and have will have interaction uh, capabilities so if you come down and look at the interactable events that's the last uh, entry in that script that has a list of um, events that can be triggered so what we need to do would be by just adding the script the object will become grabbable so when, in, when you're using your controller you can press the grip button and the object will become grabbable so now we'll add on activate on activate would be um, defining functions so uh, in this case what we can do is um, add a functionality from the bubble gun um, the functionality is not here inside bubble gun you can find uh, object activator and we can specify a function that would activate the bubbles so when you press a trigger button uh, it will trigger some bubbles in this case. Let's test it out now So uh, we have the scene here and Let's move to the other table so the teleportation works fine and let's move and grab the bubble gun by using the grip button it's grabbable and when you press the trigger button you can see the bubbles are activated so that's this is how you would create an object and make it interactable in unity with oculus quest thanks